hello viewers back at it again with our newest vlog so for today's video we are going to learn all about badminton its history facilities and equipment and as well as its fundamental skills but before that let us hear from miss kim agad as she introduced us the history of badminton miss kim hello everyone this is kim agad and today i'd like to share a trivia about overview and history of badminton did you know that badminton was originated in India during the mid-1800s? It was the game of Puna that was the basis of our badminton that we play today. Badminton publicity was increased when English officers stationed in India transported the game in England. So in England, it was called badminton and eventually it spread all over the United States. So in order to play this form of badminton, certain facilities and equipment are needed. So at this moment, let's hear Rubelson Tendugan discussing the equipment and facilities of badminton. Sam? Hi, this is Rubelson and Tendugan and I'll be discussing the equipments and facilities of a badminton sport. In order for us to play in badminton, it is indeed essential to consider these two things, the equipment and the facilities in playing badminton for us to acquire greater improvement and also for us to enjoy even much better. So what are these equipments and facilities we should always consider? The badminton rocket is one of the most important tools a badminton player should have in the game. The badminton rockets are made of materials such as carbon fiber or lighter materials such as aluminum. And this badminton rocket also has its corresponding parts. This is what you call the frame. And the frame consists of the head, the throat, the shaft, and the handle. The badminton shuttlecock. The badminton shuttlecock acts as a ball in any racket sports. And did you know that a badminton shuttlecock is also called a shuttle or a birdie? And it also composes of 16 feathers. So this is what you call a badminton shuttlecock. And the last equipment or facility in a badminton sport is what we call the net. The net divides the badminton court into two sides. So the net uh, contains a very important part in playing a badminton sport. Hi, it's me again, Maria Ira Panabio. And we are going to discuss you the fundamental skills of a badminton sport. To be a good badminton player, we must master all the fundamental skills of the sport. And in this video, we are going to demonstrate all the proper execution of the fundamental skills. So now, let us dive into the first fundamental skill, the grip. So there's two ways on how to hold a badminton racket. For example, you can use the two grips, which is the forehand grip and the backhand grip. So this is how you should place your hand using the forehand grip. And this is how you should place your hand using the backhand grip. Number two, the serve. Service is another necessary skill we need to master for badminton for us to give some advantage during the rally. And there are two types of service, the high serve and the low serve. High serve, it is used when you want to force your opponent to run to the back of the court. Low serve, it is used to bring the opponent forward by hitting the shuttlecock. Number 3, Smash a smash is a hard hit overhand stroke with a fast downward pad. It is a main attacking stroke. Number 4. Drive It is a powerful hit forehand or backhand stroke which just clears the top of the net. And lastly, the drop shot. The shuttlecock is stroke over the net so it drops very close to the net. So those are the fundamental skills of a badminton sport we should always remember. And I hope you've learned something and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching!